not of this, Mexico has elected its first ever woman president. Some Mexican nationals hoping to take part in the historic vote here in L.A. ran into quite a few problems yesterday, though. Yeah, Gigi Graciette is live in Panorama City with more. Gigi. Well, good morning. Even though women are very active in politics in Mexico, about a third of the governors of its 32 states are female. This was one glass ceiling that wasn't broken until yesterday. Take a look. It is official. Mexico has a new president-elect, and it is a woman, Claudia Chainbaum. History was made in multiple ways yesterday. She's the first woman president ever elected in Mexico with almost 60 percent of the vote, the 61-year old is an environmental scientist and recently served as Mexico City's mayor. She represents the Morena party and was the candidate endorsed by the current president Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. She's also Mexico's first Jewish president. Also history making for the first time, Mexicans living abroad were able to vote in person and lines were long at Mexican consulates across the country while here in Los Angeles over a thousand people lined up outside the consulate in the Westlake area, hoping to be a part of history. But not everyone was able to cast their vote, leaving many disappointed and angry. My dad really wanted to vote, but he's 72 years old. He saw the lines and he thought, like, I can't stand for hours in the sun with no restroom facilities. I just can't do that. So he was disappointed that he couldn't vote. The lesson for Mexican consulates here in the United States is be ready, especially with elections mattering more and more to Mexicans abroad, and especially given that they want a voice in their democracy, both here in the United States and in Mexico. And apparently many more people were interested than expected. Now, Claudia Sheinbaum's main opponent in this election was another woman, Xochitl Galvan, a tech entrepreneur and senator. She has taken just under 30 percent of the vote. The third candidate was centrist Jorge Alvarez Maynez with just over 10 percent. And bringing it back here live, Claudia Sheinbaum takes office as president in October. Reporting live, I'm Gigi Graciette. Back to you. All right, Gigi, thank you.